Welcome, dear listeners, to our insightful journey through the sixth Elia for the portion of Hazinu, chapter 32, verse 40. Here the divine addresses not only the Jewish people, but also their adversaries. It's a solemn pledge, a solemn oath, that the debts accrued will be settled. Let's take a moment to examine the wisdom of Rashi. He challenges us with a poignant question. Who are we to forgive the blood of millions of our people? Echoing the sentiments of Moshe Abienu, Rashi reinforces that every cent taken from the Jewish people will have to be repaid. This is a reminder for us to hold true to our faith and justice. Rashi also provides us with two interpretations of the following verses, illustrating a disagreement between Rabbi Huda's approach and Rab Nehemiah's approach. His advice for the Jewish people, however, remains clear and unchanging. Torah v'am bohim tunai. The divine proclaims, I live forever. This eternal presence can seek retribution against those who have caused harm upon the Jewish people. Even in future generations, the divine brings justice to both the deceased and the living, a powerful testament to the omnipresent nature of the divine. In the Jamar Agin, the shared punishment is discussed. It's an intriguing study that we delve into on Tisha B'im Shanesi Barak Harbi. As we move forward to verse 44, we approach the seventh and closing portion of Hazino, marking the end of this enlightening journey through the alia. This podcast was produced and sponsored by Daniel Aronoff.